closing in on first pitch tonight from Turner Field. It's the Marlins and the Braves, and it's coming up next. Now from 755 Hank Aaron Drive, a look at Turner Field here in Atlanta. Tonight, the second of four to begin the week between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. All right, Steve, E.K. will join us in a moment, but before he does, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their starting nine tonight will look like this. And set to go to work against this lineup, there you see the numbers for the very dependable right-hander, Gavin Floyd. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. Christian Yelich will move towards the batter's box as we're just about set to get underway tonight. Pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. First pitch, seven ten. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. And he will start the ball game in style. It's a home run. It's a solo home run for Christian Yelich as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Well, I'll tell you, having a guy at the top of the lineup that's capable of doing this, boy, that's a great weapon to have. He jumps all over this ball to lead off the ball game with a solo home run. Adani Echevarria will take his first cuts now, and after the leadoff home run to start the ball game, does the game plan change at all from a pitching perspective? Well, I think it's a little bit more of a shock to the system than anything else. You're just not expecting that leadoff guy to be the guy that takes it deep. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Well, you can tell the third baseman's playing a little bit in front of the bag right here, trying to take away that bunt. Unfortunately, this ball almost takes his teeth out. The reactions had to be quick, and lucky for him, he's still got them. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. First pitch on its way from Floyd. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. And these guys already have one home run here in the inning. And now you get to the real power guys here. So you need to be careful. Here's a 1-0 cutter that's low, 2-0. And, and on 2-0, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but... I would maybe think about something else. On, 
three and oh now. And even on three and oh, it's no given that he's going to be taken up there. We've seen him go after pitches in this spot before. He's not going to hold back. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. That was a great pitch to hit. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And this is swung on and missed, though the ball did hit the ground, so he'll need to go to first. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it, and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. Garrett Jones. We'll get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. All right, guys, let's do it. Come on. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle of the plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. Oh, high, deep. Where will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A solo home run for Garrett Jones. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Marlins have taken a 2 to nothing lead. And early on here, he's having real trouble locating his pitches. I mean, this is another pitch that's biting off way too much of the plate. And they've roughed him up for two home runs already, and we're not out of the first yet. Greg Dobbs will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. And on to first with it is Freeman, and that'll end the inning. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Marlins on top, two to nothing. Now the starting lineup for the host Atlanta Braves. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Jordan Schaefer will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. For the right fielder, Jordan Schaefer. In there, strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. And a curveball's in there, so he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Mm -hmm. 
Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy out, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Chris Johnson will step in now. And this is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. <laughs> and you can forget about trying to set up a guy. That's five pitches, five strikes. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Uh, he hasn't wasted any pitches so far early in the game. That's six pitches, two strikeouts already. So if these first two hitters are any indication, there could be a whole lot more of these to come. Freddie Freeman will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Boy, he may strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Ball one. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Here comes the one-two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Yeah, and on one and two, when you know the guy at the plate needs to protect, that's a great spot for that curveball. A lot of guys, they would have gone fishing for that. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Yelich is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Down in order go the Braves. They're still down. It's 2-0. And the folks here in Atlanta should be interested in watching this fella as the former Braves phenom Jared Saltalamachia stands in. In there, 0 and 1. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. And this is what he's got to do out there. Just focus on the task ahead. It'd be easy to go into a shell after giving up those two home runs in the first inning. But he knows they're counting on him to give him a few more innings. So he'll need to respond. Brian Bogusevic will take his first cuts of the ball game here. First pitch on the way. And good contact there as this is hit high and deep to right center. Hayward is there as he had to travel a ways, but he makes the catch deep in the alley for the second out. And there's an awful lot of room out there in right center. So even though this ball's hit pretty well, had a little too much loft to it, so winds up a fairly routine fly ball. Jordani Valdespin will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. It's 
starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Well, much, much better here in the second inning. To me, he looked a little bit tentative early on. It's starting to look like he's finding the rhythm now. And he lays off for ball one. A lot of balls down in the zone in the last inning or so. And I think that's in response to getting bit by those two home run balls. He might be a little leery of challenging guys right now, and I don't blame him. Keep it down there. Here's a cold strike on the curveball, one and two. Good curveball right there, and that just really froze him. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Well, I'd be surprised if they go back to the curve again on two and two. He's had a couple of pretty good looks at it at the plate. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Here it comes. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats and he's just fighting to stay alive here still two and two. A full count three balls and two strikes. Uh, and this guy won't lay down here because there's two outs and nobody on. He's putting up a good fight. Making him work out there the ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Fouled back. And that's low ball four. That's a good job right there with two away because if nothing else, you get your pitcher to the plate here in this inning so you don't force him to lead off your next inning offensively. Kevin Slowey digs in at the plate. Here's the first offering. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. They're up two to nothing. Evan Gaddis will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball one and oh. And here's a ball hit in the air. And there's out number one. That's a good pitch right there inside part of the plate. Just too tardy of a swing to get the hands through the zone. And as a result, it's just a little hump back liner and an easy out. Jason Hayward will get his first opportunity here and that average is certainly not where he wants it down in the 220s to begin the ball game. Now a ball hits sharply toward third.
Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it into left field for a solid single. Justin Upton will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Pitch out, nothing doing. Upton waiting, now the 1 0. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Swinging a ground ball to first. And Upton's aboard, it's a base hit. And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Andrelton Simmons steps in now. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And a good heater as he just watches this baby. A ball and a strike. Oh, that's a good fastball right there. And you had to figure that he was looking for that sinker. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Well, you talk about a big time to come up with a strikeout. Now, you still got one more guy to get through here in the inning, but now with two outs, you can take a step back, take a deep breath, and know that those runners have to stay put at first and second. Ramiro Pena will get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Grounded foul off to the right. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And a good strike two pitch there as he has to fight to push it foul to the left so they'll try it again. Ready with another 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two. Yeah that was outside but it's right where he wants that pitch to be. If you do take that thing there's no guarantee that it won't be called strike three. To two balls and two strikes now. Where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. If you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Here's 
one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. And now the runners will get a head start here with two away. And that's an important factor, too, because that's the tying run over there at first base. So he's likely scoring on an extra base hit. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Boy, he comes through with a two-out, two-strike RBI. That's a real confidence builder right there. And conversely, that's very deflated if you're out there on the mound. Gavin Floyd will be the batter. Close to the bag at second there, now the pitch. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. And, and even after the two-out RBI, you still have a chance to help yourself out here with a hit. You've got a man in scoring position. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and you can't make this easy on him right here. At least make some contact and force him to make a play. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. Around third and being waved on home. And he will score as well. And can you believe it? They've gone in front by a run. And if this was going to be fair, it wasn't going to be fair by much. You'll see it hit just inside the white line. Another foot or so, and that's a foul ball. Instead, this is going to go for a double and drive in two. Jordan Schaefer will stand in here. He was set down on strikes to start the home first. Ball one. Boy, and after that good first inning, not the same here in the second. He's kind of looking a little shell-shocked out there. Like even he can't figure out what's going on. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Jones is there, and the side is retired. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. We play two full. Braves lead this one three to two. Christian Yelich is ready to go here as we begin the third. Left fielder, Christian Yelich. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Now after the home run last time, you can see a more cautious approach this at bat. They don't want to get burned again. 2-0 on the way. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that gets through into right as he starts the inning out here with a leadoff single. Yeah, nothing too special about a ground ball single up the middle here. But if you keep putting the ball in play like they've been doing, good things have a tendency to happen. We'll see if this gets them started. A Dani Echevarria will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Get the double play! Thank you. 
Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Pena back to Freeman. Not in time, and they'll just get the one. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base running. Giancarlo Stanton will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. First offering on the way. And he takes ball one. Two and zero now. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Now that he's worked it to three and zero, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. And he gets this fastball over, back to 3-1 and one now. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Now batting the first baseman. Garrett Jones. We'll see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. left field Upton comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning and no tag at second he'll head back there with two away now and you'll see where this pitch is it's up but it's up far enough that he can't quite get on top of it and he winds up lifting a lazy fly ball Greg Dobbs will stand in with two on and two out here in the third Off the plate and low here, ball one. Don't get that batter. Holy, shut him down here. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Two men are on with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach. So he's got to make a judgment call out there. He knows what buttons to press with each of his pitchers. You know, some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. 
Really got to read him the riot act. Jared Saltalamacchia will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. He's been tough to deal with this year. He's second on the team in RBI, so this is a golden opportunity. Let's get out of this inning. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. Oh. Huh. He wanted to go after that one, but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Yeah, sometimes you give a power hitter like this a fastball at eye level, and he just can't help himself. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Yeah, that pitch is still up a little bit, but at least this one was out on a corner. But I don't think I'd want to be making a living up there too much. Here comes a 1-2. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Chris Johnson makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And after the strikeout his first time around, I think he was able to use that first at bat as a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. A rough start to the home third. There's one away. Oh, you can feel for him, too, because you know exactly what's going through his mind right there. He can't believe it. You know when you're going good at the plate, all the little flares and bleeders, they all start going your way and they fall in. But when you're scuffling like he has, even the Rockets find a glove. So the leadoff man's gone, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Now the first pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Already 40 pitches now here in the first few innings. Yeah, and at this point in the game, he's going to have to start pitching to contact a little bit more, or else he may not make it five innings. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The throw into second. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Boy. It's only the third inning here, and he's already given up more hits so far than he did in his entire start last time out. He hasn't been able to reproduce what he had going on last time, at least not to this point. Evan Gaddis will dig in. He popped out his first time. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout. Dobbs is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Well, anytime you get an RBI guy to the plate with less than two outs, he does that. He is not happy. 
That's the kind of at-bat that'll stick with you for a while. Jason Hayward will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. I thought they'd be working the edges against a guy like this, but I caught an awful lot of the plate. And he goes with the pitch nicely there as this is lifted high and deep the other way to left. And that's going to find a crease for extra bases, and it ought to open up this lead to two. And they'll add another run to their lead as the run scores from second to make it four to two now. Well, that's what he's done well all season. And that's swing the bat with runners in scoring position. He drives in another one here on the RBI double. Justin Upton will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. For Hayward, he's credited with double number 11 so far this year. Two out here and a runner at second. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Throws him on the bender there, and he's in the hole 0-2. No taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the lead will move to three as it's now a 5-2 to two game. Andrelton Simmons will try and keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. You can do it. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Seems like they're showing a lot of faith in this guy, leaving him out there. And I think you appreciate that as a pitcher, but sometimes when you don't have it, you don't have it. Looks like this is going to be one of those times. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0 and 2. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back safely. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Surprised that the bullpen hasn't swung into action yet? Yeah, you know, now that you mention it, I think I'd at least get a couple guys up there scurrying around down there, or thinking about ordering a pizza or something. Hard hit down the line. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And another hard hit ball off of him right there. That's not the first one he's allowed so far. As you take a look at his line, not too much to write home about right there. This has not been one of his better performances at all. 
Ramiro Pena will stand in, an RBI single in his first appearance. And this could wind up being a bullpen kind of game as we've got action down there right now when we're only in the third inning. And it's the outside corner, it's strike one. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back to Turner Field following this. Brian Bogusevic will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Brian Bogusevic. And he drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And he'll be thinking that's an out he should have had here to Up lead off the, the inning. This was Second maybe not the most routine of Jordini hops, but still, you'd think he'd at least be able to get a glove on it. Jordani Valdespin will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. And here's a good fastball from Floyd as he jumps ahead, nothing in one. The oh, and that is right there for strike two. And after walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half out. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. If you want to see a guy get blown away at the plate, this is just one finger down three times in a row. He was just overmatched there. Kevin Slowey will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Now the 1-0. And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. But you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3-0 and to him. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Flip to the second baseman covering now for the out. You know, in this situation, some people may say, with one out, why not just let him swing away? You know why you don't let him swing away? Because he's a pitcher, that's why. All you can hope for is for him to go up there and make a productive out, and that's what he did. Christian Yelich. We'll try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. First pitch on its way from Floyd. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1.
Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Fourth inning here, already a 5-2 to two score. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Uh, that's a tough chance there behind the plate. This is a curveball. You see him try to smother it, but this ball just eats him alive, and that's going to let that runner move over to third now on what'll be a wild pitch. Right on the corner, two and two. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on the breaking ball, and the inning is over. One left for Miami. They trail 5 2. Gavin Floyd will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Gavin Floyd. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. That's right. Wait for your pitch. One oh pitch is a slider swung on and missed one and one. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's another one, too. Ah, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do, at least give someone a battle. Jordan Schaefer will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Trying to lay one down here but he misses strike one. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. Five runs, eight hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And now just look at all three of these pitches here on show track. First one, not a strike. Not a strike, and not a strike either. Now, that's no question that it could be 3-0 and right now, but instead, he's headed back to the pine. Chris Johnson will dig in now. He struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. Now the first pitch. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. 
And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're still out in front, five to two. A Danny Echevarria will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Shortstop, a Danny Echevarria. And a curveball in for a strike. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. And this is going to be a foul ball. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. He took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. You don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here. Not when you've got this guy on deck. Three and two, here it is. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Boy, that's just another off-balance swing right there. Not only are these guys light on hits, they're not even making solid contact right now. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in, base on balls his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. And too high with the cut fastball, it's 1-0 oh now. Oh, no! We're in the fifth inning here, 5-2 is our score. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1 home. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. First two games of this series, he's already struck out a total of four times now. You get to where you just hate taking that walk back to the dugout. I'll tell you, it's a very frustrating feeling. Garrett Jones will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Well, that's a good spot for that two seam fastball. You know, remember, 
that'll run away from left handers so a good idea to work the outside edge. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. One two is the cut oh, fastball, but he holds back two and two. Cutter and it doesn't make it back three and two. Greg Dobbs would be next. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Miami down in order, and the deficit remains five to two. With Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskirchen with you as Freddie Freeman settles in to start out the inning for Atlanta. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Well, this start's been a real bear for him so far. Uh, you see the pitch count here to start the fifth. That has to be a concern. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike. That's still on his mind. Just make contact! Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Good changeup right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. And that's taken outside for a ball, so he's worked it back to two and two now. And the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a line drive over the shortstop's head and on into left center field. And that should be extra bases to begin the inning. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. And after going hitless in last night's ball game, he's turned things around here. That's his second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll leave after working just four innings, and this was not the kind of start he was looking for, I'm quite sure. Jacob Turner is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Evan Gaddis. Will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. Going, and a curveball drops in there for strike one. For Freeman, he's at second with his 18th double of the year. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. 
And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. And that's a setup pitch right there, one and two. No shortage of extra base hits, as you see the totals there. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Yeah, he might have thought about going to third for just a split second there. But with nobody out, I think the smart decision was to go ahead and take that out at first base. And that's exactly what he did. Jason Hayward will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Stanton is there. Let's see if they test it. And he'll think better of trying to score as he holds it third with two away now. Here's another instance of a ball actually hit too hard to try to score on. He doesn't have to go all that far to make the play here, so it's probably a wise decision not to test his arm. Justin Upton will dig in again. He singled home a run his last time. Fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. That's not a bad idea right there. Take a pitch. Make sure you get a good look at him and what he's throwing. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he stays alive here as he gets a piece of this. And in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. Another 0-2 coming. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. One left for Atlanta, and it remains 5-2. to two. Greg Dobbs will come in now to begin their half of the sixth, and it's been a struggle for them so far. Just three hits through the first five innings. And that's certainly not going to be enough to get the job done. And as the scoreboard bears out, if they want to get back in this game, I think this is the inning that it needs to start happening. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Good swing there on 1 and 0, but this is in the air out to right field. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Well, there's a look at his pitches by inning, and as you can see, he's hit 85 for the game now, so you have to think they're watching him pretty closely in that dugout. So with one away in the inning, here's Jared Saltolamacchia. Curveball just misses apparently. One and oh. Shut him down. Oh, 
Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. On to first, and Salto the Machia grounds out here, two away. He's been able to get outs when he needs them with that curveball, and there you see what his pitch breakdown has been so far. Brian Bogusevic will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. Hard hit towards center. Hayward will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They trail 5-2. Andrelton Simmons will step in to get things started for the Braves in their half of the sixth. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Two two pitches lofted in the air out to right field. Therefore, it is Stanton, and he's got it for the first out. Now back. Ramiro Pena will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Here we go. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Here's a guy that kind of got called on early, but since coming on in the fifth, he's retired five in a row out of the bullpen. Gavin Floyd will bat for himself here with his guys up three here in inning number six. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. And now, as a hitter, one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. Now take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. Now he swings and barely makes contact here as this is back toward the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They're still out in front, five to two.
back here at Turner Field. Seventh inning straight ahead with the Braves leading this one. But before we get it started, let's take a look there at the game summary to this point. Jordani Valdespin will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Jordani Valdespin. Too high that time with the innings first pitch. It's ball one. Well, the guy you see right there calling the shots has opted to roll with his starter here to begin his half of the seventh. And that pitch count is a concern, so he may get the chance to finish this inning off and then call it a night. And this ball will be chopped foul. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. The one two to two balls and two strikes now. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Yeah it's a good battle to start this inning. That's what you like to see when you've got a guy out there that's getting up there in the pitch count. Full count offering on its way. Fouled back. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. When you're down by a handful of runs, a leadoff walk is a definite blessing. If nothing else, it's a good first step towards trying to get back in this ball game. Rob Brantley will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 19, Rob Brantley. And here's the first pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. All right. Leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ball game. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. Good tailing action there. It's one and one. Five two our score as we play inning number seven. One one on the way. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. This is hit sharply to the left side. And that is going to be a base hit. And the runner holds it second, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Yeah, a hot shot that time and a tough read down there at third base. He just couldn't get the leather on it. Out of the Braves dugout is their manager, Freddy Gonzalez, on his way to the mound. And it appears as though that's going to do it for Gavin Floyd. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Your attention, please. So a call to the bullpen now, and they'll make a move for the left hander here. Christian Yelich. We'll dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Come on, Brave! 
Infield a double play depth all around. Here's the pitch. And a ball 1-0. So they get the matchup they wanted here, lefty on lefty, but it's worth noting there are two right-handers to follow. And you've got a right-hander going in the bullpen as we speak, so this could be a one-batter outing. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, that's all about playing the percentages there. They bring the left-hander out of the bullpen to get the better matchup. And he obliges with the big strikeout. A Danny Echevarria will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. But he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Fastball's off the plate away. It's ball one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Now this is slowly hit to short. Probably too slowly to get to. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets him out of the inning. Marlins leave one. And the deficit remains five to two. Henry Rodriguez will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Henry Rodriguez. Jordan Schaefer will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Right fielder, Jordan Schaefer. Tries to catch him napping, but he missed the bunt attempt. Strike one. Ah, and he had the perfect pitch to try that. Right on the outside corner. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. You know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I don't think he holds up in time. It looked to me like that was the right call. Chris Johnson will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. Let's go, guys. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. This is hit hard on the ground at first. Look at this. Ah, but the throw is too late as he gave it all he had, but that'll be scored as an infield single. Not a real good throw there at first. Timing is critical on this play. You've got to be able to hit your pitcher right in stride so he can tag the base. Here, this throw is low, and he tries to reach out with that right foot, but he can't find the bag. That's going to go down as an E3. Freddie Freeman will dig in. He doubled his last time. First pitch coming. 
Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Five runs, nine hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about. But you don't want to give this guy something where he can just roll over a ground ball and still get it into right field. Now the one and one pitch high and wide two balls and a strike everything away here and with pretty good reason. Yeah they'll say left field it's all yours. You want to beat us that way go ahead and do it. Good spot for the change there and that'll knock things up at two and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. Here's the two and two offering. Too high. Ball three. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. This is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Here's the payoff pitch. Line to the right side, but foul. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Three two pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Evan Gaddis will stand in now hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot 0 for 3 thus far. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball 1 1 and 0 nail biting time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. low two balls and a strike and this hole he's digging on the mound it's all he's doing he's got to be able to find the strike zone in there two and two Hit hard to the right, but foul. Ready with another 2-2. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone.
pretty good late break to this 2-2 pitch, and we'll see on swing track. He just doesn't gauge the movement very well and swings right over the top of it. Jason Hayward will get his shot now with two on and two out here in inning number seven. And here's a pitch swung on and sent on the ground to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. Eighth inning coming up. The Braves lead it 5-2. to two. Luke Gregerson will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. And there now is John Carlos Stanton. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point. So good idea there just to wait for strike one. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. One, two. Fouled straight back. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick, as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. With that, we'll give you a look at our starter comparison for the two starting pitchers in the game. And the column to look at is the one on the right side of your screen. Not too many hits to go around at this point in the ballgame. Garrett Jones will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. We're in the eighth inning now of a 5-2 to two ball game. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's another 0-2. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's 1-2. and two. On 0-2, and two, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase. But it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. There's our line score to this point. You see the Braves leading this one from Turner Field as we play inning number eight. Greg Dobbs will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter.
First pitch coming. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. One and zero. Oh. High in the air and deep down the left field line. And it in fact lands in the corner, foul. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Justin Upton will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. And Upton swings and misses on a good pitch that time, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Yeah, still a little late with that swing. He's got to get going a little sooner. And Upton won't chase that one. It's one and two. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. This guy's one of those unsung type pitchers. He's not the setup guy, he's not the closer, but these are the guys that keep you in the ball games, and he's doing the job here. Andrelton Simmons will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. In there, one and one. Swung on and rolled softly to third. There to play it is Dobbs. Throw on to the first baseman. Jones is in time. Two away now. Now batting. Second baseman. Ramiro. Pena. Ramiro Pena. Go bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. This pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Come on, let's get a hit. Two out, nobody on. Go, go. 
that's in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. And that's almost a carbon copy of that last fastball, and he buried both of those pitches right on the inside corner. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. The right-hander deals on one and two. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Braves are shut down one, two, three, and it remains five to two. Well, now here comes Braves manager Freddy Gonzalez out to home plate, and it looks like he's going to work the double switch here. Craig Kimbrell is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the seventh spot, number 46, Craig Kimbrell. Now playing shortstop and batting in the ninth spot, number seven, Jared Saltalamacchia. Will be charged with trying to start a rally in the ninth as they go to work against Kimbrell. Leading off for Miami, catcher Jared Saltalamacchia. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Whoa. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun and it's one and one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Now a ball lined to the right side, and he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now, well, now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want Brian to get back Bogusevic. in this thing. Brian Bogusevic will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. And this will be fouled away. A runner at first with no outs here. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. He's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. I ah, can't get him to bite this time. It's 1-2. and two. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Again, a 1-2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat-footed tie for the National League lead in that category. Jordani Valdespin will stand in, base on balls his last time. Right. 
Here's a fastball chop foul at the plate at strike one. Get that one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. Right there at the belt, one and two now. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Full count, three and two. Nice job, guys. Let him swing and man. And he takes ball four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't want any part of him in this one. He may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, I'm, that's not going to help things. Marcelo Zuna will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. Swing and a shot towards second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The story of the ball game right there. And that's how it goes sometimes in baseball. The hard hit balls find gloves. And the little dribblers find holes. Christian Yelich will step in now in a big spot here with runners on. Keep in mind. He's got a home run here already. If he gets a hold of another one, he could tie up this ball game. Stop and go. Close to the bag, gets second there, now the pitch. And that misses for ball one. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door and he has not had an easy time of it. Pull the back right here. Quick. Swing and a miss for strike one. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And now a crowd reported at over 28,000 rise to their feet. Close, but it's not over yet. That's ball two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out, so that's a tough pitch to lay off. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Just some more great work here by Kimbrough as he comes out of the bullpen to fire a scoreless ninth inning and pick up the save. And his stuff is nasty.
And guys, the Braves tonight were led offensively by the exploits of this man, Jason Hayward. What a performance he turned in. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Braves are winners here, 5-2. to two. Good night from Atlanta.